What's up guys, just wanted to make a quick little video about how to find Marini's hidden ability. Um, it's Regenerator if you didn't know, and Regenerator is a pretty cool ability where if you're weak and you switch out, you'll regain up to a third of your health back. So it's a pretty good ability, especially because Toxapec, um, Marini's evolution is a nice bulky wall and it's pretty useful to keep it alive. So yeah, you want to find Regenerator. Um, until their abilities are Merciless and Limber, which are all right. Merciless is pretty interesting, um, but Regenerator is just um, a lot better. So definitely want to find that. And Marini is a little more unique than other Pokemon, where you can only find it by SOS chaining through Corsola. You can't find it in the wild. Have to go through Corsola. Um, and there's a couple places to do that. But anyways, this is the best setup I found so far to find um, the Marini you want. Uh, Marini is also unique. I think him and Sableye are the only Pokemon that will actually try to kill the other Pokemon that SOS called for it. So if your Corsola is at 1 HP and you have a Marini up, um, if you don't kill the Marini or if Corsola doesn't recover any HP, the Marini will actually kill the Corsola and then once Corsola is done, then the SOS chain will stop and you'll be stuck with that Marini. And if it doesn't have the ability that you want, then you just waste a lot of time. So anyways, this Smeargle that I've set up, I think it's the best one by far. Um, it uses Heal Pulse to heal up the Corsola. So you can check the Marini's ability with Worry Seed. Um, false Swipes there as well, just to get Corsola down to the 1 HP, and Corsola is a little more annoying because it does no recover, so sometimes you'll need to false swipe a couple of times before it can call again. And then the fourth attack, um, it can just be any attack, but I chose Magical Leaf, just because it's able to kill Corsola's in one hit, it's able to kill uh, Marini's in one hit, Magical Leaf never misses, and then it's also boosted by Technician, so instead of 60, it's 90 uh, power, and I think that's pretty good. Anyways, yeah, you want to pick up this Smeargle. Um, if you don't know how to make Smeargle, I'll make another video on how to do that. Um, but yeah, with this one, it's definitely the best way to go to find the Marinis. So what you want to do, um, you want to go to Melee Melee Island, which is the first island. And the, my most luck that I found for Corsola is down right outside the Professor's island or the professor's house um i think every, anywhere else well first off you can only find it with good odds if you're fishing at a bubbling spot um if it's not bubbling then i think you only have one percent but right outside um the professor's house which is this house right here i think you have um 20 percent i think in other places that Corsal is found, I think you have 10% chance. So, anyways, you want to find this Corsola. And for these bubbling spots, um, you can't be Sharpedo. You have to like kind of sneak up nice and slow if you go too fast or get too close. The rippling, that white effect right there, uh, will go away. Oops. If you pull up too quick like that, it will go away. And if that happens, um, you just kind of need to reset it. Um, so the best way to do that just go right into Kukui's house. <laughs> Hop on out and then head back to that spot. But anyways, yeah, you just surf here, fish there, and after a while, you will find the Corsola. Alright guys, so found my Corsola. It didn't take that long. Maybe about four tries fishing. But anyways, with your Smeargle, you just want to false swipe it down to 1 HP. Um, and then you just want to continue the chain. The higher up the chain, um, the better chance you have of finding uh, a Marini with its hidden ability. Um, if it's under 10 encounters, then you have a 0% chance um, of finding the hidden ability. So you at least need to get to 10, because 10 to 20, you have a 5% chance. 
20 to 30, a 10% chance, and then above 30, you have a 15% chance. So you kind of want to grind up to 30. Um, it may seem like a lot at first. It did seem to me, but like when I first started playing the game, but I've had chains of over like 400, so um, it doesn't seem like that much anymore. But anyways, Corsola is kind of annoying just because it has recovered, so sometimes, you know, it won't call. So it just take a little bit longer than, you know, other Pokemon. Awesome, so there's a Marini. Um, that's the second encounter, so it does not have its hidden ability. That's 100% guaranteed. But anyways, like I was saying in the beginning, if you don't kill the Marini, um, it will attack the Corsola and kill it, and the chain will stop. But, if you use Heal Pulse, I'll show you, um, right here. Heal Pulse on the Corsola, and it'll give it some life. And when the Marini attacks, I mean, it did po uh, Poison Spikes, but if it did, uh, like, like, Peck, or, I forgot, like, Horn Poison, I forgot the attack, I can't believe it, but... If it attacks the Corsa, it'll be alive, but anyways, it gives me enough time to uh, kill it. But let's say, um, I was like 20 encounters in, I want to test to see if Marini has the hidden ability. I'll click on Worry Seed, click on Marini, so it shows the ability and then changes it to Insomnia, but as you saw, it was Merciless, not Regenerator, so I'll kill it and continue my chain. But basically you do that. Um, when I found mine, my Regenerator Marini, I kind of just like grind, ground out uh, to like 30, and then this one I started to Worry Seed. Um, worry Seed's not the only attack, you can also use Entrainment. Um, and then there's one other one, I can't remember it off the top of my head. But anyways, Worry Seed's pretty easy to find. Um, you know, any executor on Executor Island, or Execute for that matter, has Ori Seeds, so it's pretty easy to find. Um, yeah, so you just basically continue this and keep your course alive. You know, after every, like, you know, 15, 20, um, you want to switch the chain because you don't want the course to struggle and die. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's best to, you know, power up your Smeargle. Mine's only level 49, so, like, it's not doing that much damage to Corsola, which kind of sucks, it takes a long time to get it down to 1 HP. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what you do. And yeah, I hope this, you know, helped out. I know when I was trying to find Marini, I was doing all kinds of stuff. I had like a, like the horse setup. I was like using a Parasect, um, false swiping Corsola down. And then when I saw Marini, I would basically Rage Powder, so it would only attack me until Corsola recovered itself, and then I would switch in to uh, uh, into Executor, um, Worry Seed, see if it was right, like if it had the ability or not, and then if it didn't, I would switch back. But also, it's kind of annoying is that Marini can poison Corsola, and if Corsola is poisoned. It won't call any SOS, um, but don't give up um, because it actually Corsola knows refresh, and so it will get rid of poison for itself. So you just kind of gotta keep it alive until it does that, and then the chain will continue. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was you know a little bit helpful. Um, yeah, have a good day.